Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to be doing a quick video on import. So there are a ton of different ways to do this. So let's let's just get started. Alright, so we're gonna mess with the random library. Alright. Alright, this is all the stuff we can do. So if we want to mess with this is the one that's very handy. Randant. It's all right. Random. And these are methods, so these are dot notation. So rand int. It's all right. If you're lazy like me, you don't want to do a lot of typing. So let's get into. All right. So right now, if I want to call randant, I got to type all this to get that to work so I'm lazy so I'm going to show you other ways to do this so from this is a keyword if you haven't watched the keyword video go and watch that come back and watch this all right <clears throat> from random import rand int so all I got to do is now type rand int. Now, let's do this another way. From random import rand int as number. So let's just say you're going, to, you don't remember rand int or you think it's stupid, which is silly. And it, I mean, rand int is a weird term, but let's just say in your, in your, um, function that you're writing you want a random number you just want it to be number so now I just change that to number so every time I type number in my script over here it's gonna pull up and go through all these back steps and get back to this built-in function for us let me show excuse me let me show you one more thing so from Random now also let's let's go back to this. Um, let's clear this out. Restart shell. All right, so just wipe that from memory. So all right. So to show you, random is not in there anymore. So all right. And so if we port import random, not random but random. Alright, we run dir on random. We go back here. Oh, choice is another good one in choices. Um, in seed, I'll do a video and show you that that's actually, you can, because random number is just an algorithm, and seed is actually the basis for that. So, shuffle's very cool too. So, maybe I'll do a whole series on these. But alright, choice and choices and random. Very, all, very cool and very useful. But, alright. So to again, if I wanted, and had to do that, right? And if I wanted random dot, I'm always bad with I before E. So I have to do that. So all right, let me show you a different way. Let's restart this again. Make sure from random import star okay if you guys have messed around with DOS if you remember uh, star dot star that just is all the files so star is a fancy way of just doing all of them so that's gonna have everything so if I should be able so what I did right there is this says pull everything out of these little subdirectories. So all right, let's go over this one more time. What this does is this just says download, open up everything. Don't have anything in dot notation. Download absolutely everything. So that's just a, if you have a really deep, if you have a library that has 
very deep subdirectories and you don't want to type it all out and you have because there there are some libraries that have multiple dot notations or dot 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 so if you just want to download everything and you don't want to remember all the steps just do from library import star all of them and then you can get to everything so quick little thing on import so thanks for watching hoping you're getting something out of it don't forget to leave any comments below and click the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time thanks guys